Hi, I'm Jim Fontana with the Yanmar Academy. If you're unsure of what to do when your regeneration request light comes on, make sure to watch this video. Today's overview is the first of a three-part series covering the regeneration of a DPF or diesel particulate filter on a Yanmar tractor. So what is a DPF? DPFs are devices added to the exhaust system on tractors over 26 horsepower to capture harmful particles from the operation before they are released into the environment. Over time, these particles build up, and if the filter is not properly maintained, they can cause performance issues and costly repairs. Your Yanmar machine uses a process called regeneration, or regen, to maintain this filter. There are five levels of regeneration. I will start with self. Yanmar tractors are designed to self-regenerate whenever you are operating. This is accomplished by capturing the heat from the exhaust that is created when working the tractor. Exhaust temperatures rise, the harder the tractor works. And the harder you work your tractor, the more efficiently it will burn the soot in the DPF. If soot accumulates beyond what the self-regen can process, assist regeneration will occur. Assist regeneration is a more aggressive, but still automatic level of regeneration. While working the tractor, the electronic controller on the engine will partially close the intake throttle to add heat to the exhaust. This does not require you to stop working and will likely go unnoticed. There may be a slight sound change or a different exhaust smell. Just continue operating as normal while your tractor regenerates itself. The next level of regeneration is called reset. This is the first time the operator will have an indication on the tractor panel. The tractor can be operated during a reset regeneration. This is also the only regeneration that will be part of periodic maintenance to be performed on the tractor. This is scheduled at the first 50 hours and then every 100 hours after that. Reset will also occur if assist is unable to lower soot. Tractors will not go past reset regeneration if the tractor is properly operated and maintained with no equipment failures. Stay tuned for part two of this series where we go into detail how to perform a reset regeneration. I will add the link in the description below when it becomes available. If the soot level continues to rise or the request to perform a reset regen is ignored, stationary, sometimes called park regeneration, will be requested. While performing this regeneration strategy, as the name suggests, the tractor must be parked. The request will be accompanied by a caution lamp, audible alarm, and a diagnostic trouble code. The tractor will also have a gradual power reduction if ignored. Watch our video on stationary regeneration or part three of this series for more information. Again, we will add the link in the description when that video is available. If the soot level continues to rise or stationary regeneration is not performed, a recovery regeneration will be required. This is severe and the tractor will be restricted to slightly above idle until maintenance is completed. Recovery is the most aggressive method of regeneration and requires the use of the diagnostic tool to perform it. Therefore, it can only be performed at the dealer. Regeneration strategies become more aggressive as soot accumulates, so taking care of it at first notification is the best practice. Another way to prevent unnecessary regenerations includes working the tractor harder at higher engine speeds while avoiding unnecessary idling. Also make sure to use the proper fuel and oil. A biodiesel blend of 7% or less is ideal. Yanmar tractors may operate on blends of up to 20% with special precautions. See your manual for those. Yanmar tractors should never operate with biodiesel blends of greater than 20%. Make sure to check out our videos on reset and stationary regeneration for more specific information on each stage. Click on the like button if you like this content and let us know what you want to see in the future. As always, thank you for watching. For more information, consult the operation manual for your tractor. Contact your dealer or visit us on the web at yanmartractor.com. And if you're already an owner, make sure to visit us at yanmarowners.com.